morning students and our today's menu is the kinetics of the reversible reaction and the parallel reactions and the consecutive reactions are the sequential reactions we will see the three reactions and i think with these three topics we will end up our chemical kinetics leaving behind the rest of the chapters to the self study Okay, first we will see about the reversible reaction. So far we have studied the irreversible reaction, kinetics for the irreversible reaction, for example, A to B, and the, the rate of the rate constant of this reaction is A. And if A is a first order, we have derived an equation, kinetics equation, the rate law equation, and so on. Now what happened when a reversible arrow is put into this part. Is that the same type of uh, kinetic equation would be available and would be applicable to this reversible reaction? The site modification is there. And here the rate law is given by the change in the concentration of dA by dt is equal to k into the concentration of dA. But here, what is the rate law equation here the rate law equation is the concentration change of a by dt is given by let us assume this is k1 and the reverse reaction as k2 or the k1 as the kf that is the forward reaction and 2 as the backward reaction kd what is the rate law for this reaction it is nothing but as usual the concentration k1 into the concentration of a minus the reverse reaction concentration of k2 uh, concentration of b into k2 and this is the rate law equation we are generally given we are giving and here in addition to in, in introduce a reverse arrow initially the concentration of b is zero here we will put the concentration of A and B at time t is equal to zero as A is zero and B is zero. At time t is equal to some A is zero minus x and this is the amount x is found. Here in addition to these two, there is a one more concentration that is we call this the equilibrium concentration. At the time is at equilibrium the concentration of A would be A minus Xe and the concentration of B would be Xe. Therefore, one more concentration term would be introduced. And what another term is introduced, first initially the rate of the forward reaction is faster because no concentration of B is there initially. Therefore, reverse reaction is zero. But once some amount of B is formed in the reversible reaction, in this reaction, the reverse reaction is taking place. At the initial state, the rate of forward reaction is faster and the rate of backward reaction will be lower because the concentration of B is low in concentration. As time increases, what happens at one particular time, the rate of the forward reaction would be equal to rate of the backward reaction. The rate of the forward reaction would be equal to rate of backward reaction. We call this situation as the system is attaining the equilibrium. So what is the condition for a system to attain equilibrium? The condition is the rate of the forward reaction should be equal to the rate of the backward reaction. What about the concentration of A and B at the equilibrium? The concentration in majority cases it would be different, not equal. Only the rate of forward reaction would be equal to rate of the backward reaction. And when the system is attaining equilibrium, we calculate a constant called the equilibrium constant. And the equilibrium constant is calculated by the active masses of the products divided by active masses of the reactor. 
what is the actin mass of the product that is mathematic here only one is present that is b and the concentration of a here b should be the concentration at t equilibrium a should be at the concentration at t equilibrium not any other time it should not be any other time only at the, after attaining the equilibrium this one the k can also be calculated you already studied here the concentration sorry the k is calculated in terms of the concentration of this e and a therefore we call it as the k c and you have already studied it may be calculated as in terms of the pressure it is called as k b and you have already studied the relationship between k a and k c and k b in chemical equilibrium and so on but here we are going to use the word simple k alone calculated from this the k can be calculated by the rate of the forward reaction by the ratio of the backward reaction therefore k can be written like this these three are in triangular therefore k when k is calculated you may be asked to give kb and kb provided another is given or k is given you may be asked to calculate what would be the equilibrium constant of concentration of any one of the species and if such a problem is asked this is related to the 10th standard or 11th standard equations and here we are not calculated the concentration for xe what is the equation to calculate the concentration of the equilibrium concentration of the reactants as well as the product that is can be derived but here i am not going to derive this that is given by the equation kf by k1 plus k2 into the concentration of a this is the or the concentration of a let us assume the initial concentration of a is a therefore rate of the forward reaction by the rate of the forward and backward here i put k1 plus 2 but here i put f and p you one is for forward reaction two is for the backward reaction therefore if you are asked to calculate exc how the problems may be given initial concentration of a should be given and equilibrium constant can be given or the equilibrium concentration and they here we are going to calculate the equilibrium therefore they won't give this one and the k is given kf is given you can calculate kb therefore knowing the k1 and k2 kf and a you can calculate x this is the some more uh, one step step uh, level um, high level problem this is the problem asked in jam examination and now we are going to use this this relationship and this relationship and further we are going to give the going to give the rate equation for the reversible reaction as we have already derived the rate equation for the irreversible reaction what is the rate equation we have derived k1 into p is equal to so log of a by a minus e x so this is the equation it is in the natural logarithmic form or it can be converted into the k the uh, log to the base k and here x is the amount reacted at the time t it may be 10 percent or it may be given in fraction it may be given in percentage this may be given in percentage accordingly you put the a in percentage or in the fraction given similarly what is the uh, rate law equation uh, this is the rate law equation from which the rate equation derived is k is equal to 
the same k t is equal to or k is equal to one i'm sorry l n into a by a minus x is 2.3 and here k is called the overall correct connection for the reaction here two reactions are taking place through the forward direction as well as through the backward reaction therefore what is the net k value the net k is equal to k1 plus k2 it can be derived but i am not going to derive this equation therefore k1 plus k2 is uh, calculated t is equal to now 1 by k1 plus k2 into ln a by a minus x this is the rate law equation uh, rate in uh, logarithmic form of equation for the reverse reaction and from this reverse reaction also i'm sorry instead of a here we are giving the concentration xc the maximum concentration xc not the a but that a is for this here here for the equilibrium instead of a you are we are going to substitute the equilibrium constant because upon substitution and integration you will get this is the final equation you are applying therefore you can make use of this equation to calculate what is k1 plus k2 for the reaction provided if you are given the time taken for the x moles of this form are reacted and what is the equilibrium constant this and this and this and this are here k1 plus k2 can be given or, or k1 k2 are given if these two are given and equilibrium concentration is given and the amount that is converted x is the amount converted is given you can calculate what is the time taken or the k1 k2 these are all given and the time is given and the equilibrium constant is given you can calculate what is the amount that is converted x there's a one more equation to calculate this x x is equal to we can rearrange this equation and for the exponential form x is equal to x e minus 1 minus e power kt in the in this form here it is k is equal to k1 plus k2 into t this is the equation you can make use of in this one therefore that person you have to remember what are the the, the k how to calculate k from the k how to calculate k1 and k2 if k1 k2 are calculated then substitute you can maybe do the problems with this or with this one and whenever k1 plus k2 is given and this is the equilibrium reaction immediately you should uh, it should come to your mind that k1 plus k2 is equal to the relaxation time that is temperature jump method in some problem 1 by t would uh, tau would be given from which you should calculate k1 and k2 and substitute k1 and k2 in this in this equation you can calculate the required parameter therefore you should all these are related to each other k1 k2 how can be calculated and we will and we keep this in mind we will work out one or two problems in this and we will go for the next type of reaction take down to the question listed in the table are forward and reversible rate constants forward and reversible rate constant for the reaction two n gas with the reversible arrow n2 gas plus o2 gas temperature in degree kelvin k1 per molar per second kb 
per molar per second in units at 1400 degree kelvin the k1 is 0.29 and kb is 1 into 10 power minus 6 and 1500 degree kelvin k1 is 1.3 and kb is 1.4 select the correct statement from the following option a reaction is exothermic reaction is exothermic and the value of equilibrium constant at 1400 degree kelvin is 3.79 into 10 power minus 6. Option B, the reaction is yet endothermic and the equilibrium constant at 1400 degree Kelvin is 2.63 into 10 power 5. C, the reaction is exothermic and the equilibrium concentration at 1400 degree Kelvin is 2.63 into 10 power 5 and D the reaction is endothermic and the equilibrium constant at 1500 degree Kelvin is 9.28 into 10 power Five. What is your correct? What is the correct answer? And first, whether the reaction is endo or exo, we will have it in the next one. Before we will find what is the equilibrium constant at thousand four hundred and thousand five hundred degrees. Find out the k value for this condition. Find out the k value for this condition. Find out the k value. What is the value for 1400? Anybody? 1400. K1, KF, not K1, it is KF. What is the K equation? Equilibrium constant K is given by KF by KB. Find out the value. Is nearly anybody k is equal to kf by kb that is the equation we have seen but what is the value find out whether it's an endothermic or exothermic that can be easily seen from comparing the value of equilibrium constant of k is at two different temperatures Whenever a system is at equilibrium like this, when you increase the temperature, what happened is the rate of the forward reaction is also increased, and rate of the rate, rate of the backward reaction is also increased, which is increased in the higher proportion, which is in lower proportion. It depends upon the delta H of the reaction. Whether the reaction is exothermic, the reaction is endothermic. Here, look at uh, here, not 1400, the forward reaction is 0.29, the backward reaction is 1.1 10 power minus 6. As temperature increases, what happens? The forward reaction rate is increased. So is the case with the backward reaction also. But what about the proportionality increase? Here to what extent it increase, whether it will be ext uh, same extent it is increased? No. The, uh, the backward reaction is increased higher than the proportion of the forward reaction. It depends upon what? It depends upon whether the forward reaction is exothermic. 
or endothermal. You are increasing the temperature. And the Lichard, according to the Lichard principle, the equilibrium would be shifted in that side. Uh, if it is an exothermic reaction, this is delta is an exothermic reaction. The equilibrium will be shifted in which direction, whether forward or reverse reaction. The equilibrium will be shifted towards the backward direction. That is, the forward rate is less and the backward in which the temperature consumption, it is an endothermic, is taking place very fast. If the delta H is uh, endothermic, then the increase of temperature consumption is in the forward direction and the backward direction is less. Accordingly, the K value is changed. Therefore, whenever the equilibrium constant is decreased as temperature is increased, it indicates the forward reaction is slows down, whereas backward reaction is taking place. This is the possible one, delta H is exothermic reaction. On the other hand, the higher temperature the K values increase to means the forward reaction is taking place fastly. Therefore, the reaction should be endothermic. And now, based upon the discussion, give me the correct answer among the three B, C, D, which is the correct one. C is the correct answer. Now take down the another question. Sir, the endo endo exomaton or the experiment. I think you have studied it in the Lee Chartle Brown principle. When a system is when a system is an equilibrium and disturbances are given to the system in equilibrium in terms of concentration of the reactant, concentration of the reactant, or concentration of the products, and whether the reaction is an exothermic or endothermic, and in terms of the temperature, the disturbance can be given to the equilibrium. What happened to the system? According to each other principle, whenever the concentration of the product uh, reactant is increased, that uh, change in the concentration should be decreased in such a way that the, that direction would be taking place. The reactant concentration decreases in the forward reaction, whereas the concentration of the reactant increases in the backward reaction. Now let us take the concentration of the product in excess. According to Lee Chattel Brown principle, the increase in concentration should be utilized in that direction. It is decreased. Whenever product concentration is increased, its concentration should be decreased. In which direction it is decreased? In the reverse reaction, it is decreased. Therefore, when the concentration of the product is increased, Reverse reaction is taking place. If the reverse reaction is taking place, K will be decreased. And reverse is the case when the concentration of the reactant is removed from the system. This is in terms of the concentration of the reactants and concentration of the product. Now the disturbance may be given in terms of this delta H. In the delta H for exothermic reaction, Heat is produced. Therefore, along with the products, heat is produced. And apply the Lee Chattel Brown principle. Whenever heat is increased, that is plus heat, what do you mean by the forward reaction is uh, this forward reaction is uh, exothermic. It is liberated. The forward reaction is uh, exothermic. Backward, forward is exert, backward is endothermic. Backward is endothermic. On the other hand, here it is an endothermic reaction that is in which heat is consumed during the reaction. That means the forward reaction is an endothermic and backward reaction is an exothermic. That's all about this.
and now we apply what happened to the increase in heat to the system what happened the decrease in the heat when the reaction is exo that is forward is a exothermy and backward is a endothermy now you are increasing the temperature the increase in heat should be consumed in which direction that the reaction and temperature is consumed that would be taking place very fastly here which direction heat is consumed the backward direction therefore the backward reaction is taking place fast and the forward reaction is taking place slowly and the k value would be found to be less than less at a higher temperature than at the lower temperature when the reaction is not exo instead it is endo let us assume endo that is forward is a endothermy and backward is a exothermy now you are increasing the temperature the increase in heat should be consumed in which direction that the reaction and temperature is consumed that would be taking place very fastly here the forward is a endothermy backward is a exothermy therefore whenever you increase the temperature for such a system the forward reaction is very fastly taking place and the backward reaction in such a cases the k would be instead increases increases reverse to this therefore if you compare the equilibrium constant at lower temperature and higher temperature you can come to the conclusion the k at t1 the k at t2 t2 is a higher temperature here yeah, and if k t1 that is lower temperature is higher than this one the reaction is there so when k t1 is less than k t2 equilibrium at higher temperature is lower it is endo this is the outcome of the lichtenstein principle applied in a system at equilibrium and now compare this take this one and find out the value of k1 and k2 and come to the conclusion whether the system is in the exothermic mode or is the endothermic mode and i will go for the next type of problem similar problem take down this one disaster in the year 2006 consider an exothermic reaction consider an exothermic reaction a giving product k1 k minus 1 as the temperature increases as the temperature increases temperature increases option a k1 and k is and k1 my k minus 1 that is nothing but equilibrium concentration decrease equilibrium concentration decrease b next one k1 and k sorry k minus 1 and k1 by k minus 1 increase all of them are increased c k1 and k minus 1 decrease 
and k by k minus 1 increase so d k1 increases k minus 1 decreases therefore k1 by k minus 1 increases When the system is at equilibrium, what happened to the K1 and the K reverse reaction, K minus 1, when the temperature is increased, we have told that whether there is equilibrium is high or wrong, no. Whenever temperature is increased, both the rate of the forward reaction and rate of the backward reaction increases. Rate of the forward reaction increases means rate constant increase. Rate of the backward increases means rate constant of the backward reaction also increases. Therefore, first understand that concept. First understand this. Therefore, which would not be the correct answer? Which would not be the correct answers? Remove the correct answer, incorrect answers. C. Here K1 and K minus 1 decreases. Therefore, it is not a correct answer. K1 increase, K minus 1 degree, both would be increased in particular one, therefore it is not the correct answer. Now you are you left with two answers. So what happened? For exothermic reaction, what happened? For endothermic reaction, what happened? The K value here, K value decrease in silicon, K value increase in silicon. The higher temperature, what happened? as the forward reaction is a exothermic net reaction is a exothermic reaction therefore backward reaction is a endothermic reaction which rate would be higher here what happened as temperature increases that reaction in which temperature heat is absorbed it would be very fast i would so now Therefore, which reaction would be very fast? K minus 1 here, forward reaction is it. So, backward reaction is the temperature consumption, sorry, heat consumption. Therefore, backward reaction is increased. Though K1 and K minus 1 are increased, but proportion of K minus 1 is higher, then the proportion increase of K1 is smaller. Therefore, rate constant, what happened? decrease therefore at a higher temperature kt2 is less than kt1 for exothermic reaction and kt2 sorry equilibrium constant sorry k2 t is greater than kt1 for endo here given is exothermic therefore kt2 is less than therefore which is the correct answer among a and b among a and b which is the correct answer a a is the correct answer okay to take the next question of this type one for your reaction for your reaction a with reversible arrow k1 k minus 1 b the relaxation time is 10 power minus 6 second the relaxation time is 10 power minus 6 second given that 10 percent of a remain 10 percent of a remain at equilibrium come up the value of k1 in bracket per second is option a 9 into 10 power 5 b 10 power minus 5 C, 
10 power 5 d 9 10 power minus 5. You know what is given? 10 power 6 tau is given. From the relaxation, when a system is at the equilibrium, the temperature jump method we have seen, the relaxation time 1 by tau is equal to k1 and the reverse reaction k minus 1. And here, any one of the k1 or k minus 1 is given, we can calculate k1. k1 is asked. But if you are given k minus 1, you can calculate the k1 directly. But here k minus 1 is not also given. Therefore, two unknowns are there. You should in need of you should be in need of two equations. One equation is already given. This is the in relaxation because relaxation time is given. Therefore, we relate this relaxation time with respect to the K forward reaction and the backward reaction. Now there is one more equation is required that is given in terms of this one. Here what is given? 10% of A is existing at equilibrium. Now from the statement you can calculate capital K. What is capital K? We have already given that is nothing but the concentration of the product at the equilibrium. By the concentration of the product at the equilibrium, here what is given? A is present as 10%. Therefore, what is the concentration of B? It is 90%. And it is 10. Therefore, K is equal to 9. But what is K? KOA is nothing but the rate constant for the forward reaction by the rate constant for the backward reaction. Now you are having another relationship. K1 is equal to 9 K minus 1. Do you understand this? K1 is equal to 9 K1. Substitute in the equation and here work out this 1 by 10 power minus 6 is equal to K1 plus K minus 1. It is equal to 10 power 6. Now you have arrived at the relationship between K1 and K minus 1 from this. Substitute the K1 here. You will get 10 that is 9 k minus 1 plus k minus 1 equal to 10 k minus 1 is equal to 10 power 6. Therefore, k minus 1 is equal to 10 power 5. Don't be asked. You are not asked to calculate k minus 1. You are in rapid manner. You will go and you will give the answer for 10 power 5, this is the correct answer, but it's a wrong answer. This is the value for k minus 1. But you are asked to calculate k1. Therefore, now find out the k1. k1 is equal to 9 into k minus 1, that is equal to 10 power 5. Therefore, the correct answer is a answer. The correct answer is a answer. And shall we move to the next type of problem asked in this uh, reversible reaction? Take down that problem also. This asked in the year 2014 for a reaction of the type. X in the irreversible arrow. K1 and K2. The correct rate expression correct rate expression bracket left. the concentration of x initially see and the concentration of f corresponds to corresponds to concentration of x at time zero and 
x corresponds to the concentration of x at time t at time t respectively close the bracket is option a minus dx by dt is equal to k1 into concentration of x at zero time minus k1 plus k2 into the concentration of x b minus dx by dt is equal to k1 plus k2 into concentration of x minus k2 into concentration of x naught c option minus dx by dt is equal to k1 plus k2 k1 plus k2 into the concentration of x naught minus k1 into concentration of px d option minus dx by dt is equal to k1 minus k2 into concentration of dx minus k2 into concentration of x naught into zero And what is this? You have to the red law that is indirectly given by the red law. Given. And before deriving this, we have to find out what are the concentration at a time. Concentration of x, concentration of y. When time is equal to zero, a time is equal to zero. What is the concentration of x it is given as at concentration is equal to x naught x naught at zero time what would be the concentration of y it is zero and next another is given at time t what is the concentration of x it is given as x concentration is given as x therefore what is the amount of y at t that is the question. Anybody tell the value of y at t? x naught minus x. This is the concentration of y. If you is a symbol, what is the rest of the simple problem? You have to do the work out this dx by dt rate of formation. And you can substitute in the rate of uh, rate of formation we have already discussed in the uh, reaction mechanism for a complex reaction. The rate of formation of V X is equal to here in the forward reaction, its concentration is decreased minus K1 into concentration of and then the backward reaction is concentration is increased. Therefore, K2 into concentration of Y. This is the rate of formation. But what is given? What is given here? The rate of decrease in the concentration. Therefore, minus a dx by dt is equal to K1 into X minus K2 into Y. Now, the excess concentration is X. Y concentration is x naught minus x therefore substitute that one x minus k2 into y concentration is at time t minus x and simplify and find out which is the correct answer therefore here in this step the rule is that finding out the y concentration at time t and then writing out the formation equation Converting into the disappearance equation and now tell me what is the correct equation after substitution. 
Oh, this is the correct thing to me. Uh, you are correct. Okay, we will go to that. Now, uh, some more the difficult level problem. Take down the problem in the same reversible reaction. The reaction, the reaction. Swiss CR EN twice, OH twice, plus with the reversible arrow, giving K1, K2, trans CR EN twice, OH twice. Yes, first order in both directions. The system so far we have studied is the first order in both directions. We are not introducing a second order one direction, or zero order in another direction. So much more complicated. We have taken only a simplest order, both the direction it is first order. At 25 degrees centigrade, At 25 degrees centigrade. KC is 0.16. And the rate constant for the forward reaction is 3.3 into 10 power minus 4 per second. How long? would it take for half the equilibrium amount, half the equilibrium amount of the trans isomer to be found, of the trans isomer to be found. How long will it take for half the equilibrium amount of the trans isomer to be found. How much is found or how much is left we are asking in the first order rate equation. Similar type of question is this one. And what is the equation to be used is the equation used is P is equal to 1 by K. Here K is equal to K1 plus K2 into log of equilibrium concentration Xe by Xe minus Ex. This is the equation to be used. Here what is asked? E is asked. And K1 and K2 is required, which is given. K1 is given. Is it possible to calculate K2? Yes, it is possible. From Kc. You know Kc or K is equal to K1 by K2. This is given, and this is given, K2 can be calculated. And the K2 will be found to be nearly, if you put this, you will get 2 into 10 power minus 3. Therefore, K1 is known, K2 is known. And the Xc, what is given? What is the time required for half the equilibrium amount, half the equilibrium amount of trans isomer to be found? Xe, the equilibrium amount should be converted into the half the equilibrium amount into trans isomer. Therefore, what is the amount of Xe that should be converted? That is half of this Xe. Therefore, you can rewrite the equation as K by 1 by K1. K1 is 3.3 into 10 power 4 plus K2. We have worked out 2 into 10 power minus 3 into log of the Xe by log of the Xe. What is asked? The amount formed should be half of the equilibrium amount. Therefore, this is 1. I have not given you the option. The time taken is take down this option 218 seconds. B, 298 seconds. C, 420 seconds. D, 375 seconds. 
Now you are asked to calculate again this one, and one divided by sum of these, you would get two point three three into ten power minus three. If you sum up these, you will get this one. Have you got the value? 3.3 into 10 power minus 4 plus 2 into 10 power minus 3. Sum of this, you will get this value into log x e by what is the remaining x e by 2. Here you may be asked instead of e x, you may be asked to calculate 10 percent of the formation of trans isomer or 20 percent of the formation of the Trans isomer, or thirty percent, or fifty percent, fifty percent of the XE, or the solution. And if you put this, you will get one by two point three three into ten power minus three into ln two. What is log of two? You are checking now in the first third reaction. Ln two is nothing but point six nine three. Divided by 2.33 into 10 power minus 3, and here if you raise this, it is nearly 0.3 times. It's not, and you bring this 10 power minus 3 here, the answer is nearly 300 seconds. Therefore, the correct answer is the B option. Correct answer is the B option. And the next type, L, once again, this type of problem may be asked in the future. So far, not asked. It may be asked. And take down the question. What is the equilibrium concentration of? What is the equilibrium concentration of the trans isomer? What is the equilibrium concentration of the trans isomer in the above problem? In the above problem, if the initial concentration of the cis isomer is 0.1 molar, 0.1 molar, and I told you this is a jam type of question. Or this type of question may be asked in jam students, undergraduate students. And what is the formula to be used in this uh, reaction? The formula to be used is equilibrium is equal to concentration is equal to K F forward reaction in the initial concentration by K one plus K two. K one plus K two. You have already calculated K2 and K1, and the X E is equal to K F is equal to 3 point 3 into 10 power minus 4 into point 1 initial concentration divided by K1 plus K2. That is 2 point 3 into 10 power minus 3 equal to 3.3 into 10 power minus 5 by 2.3 into 10 power minus 2 equal to 1 point 1 point what is the value near the value nearly 1 point 4 I think so into 10 power minus 2 molar. Therefore, if the initial concentration is given. You can calculate by x e. This is the simplest equation that may be asked in two more question. Take down the next question. The reaction A with the reversible arrow B K one forward reaction constant K two backward reaction constant. Is first order in both direction. At twenty-five degrees centigrade, 
the time taken for one fourth of the equilibrium amount one fourth of the equilibrium amount of B farm one fourth of the equilibrium amount of B farm is 276 seconds If the above equilibrium is subjected to T-jump method, we are correlating the T-jump and the kinetics of the uh, equilibrium reaction. T-jump method. What is the relaxation time for the system to attain equilibrium? At time equilibrium. Once again, this equation is for, based upon the kinetics of the parallel reaction. And here, relaxation time is asked. You know, relaxation time is equal to K1 plus K2. If you know the concern, know the value of K1 and K2, you can calculate the relaxation time the options given take down the options given 200 seconds b 100 seconds c 300 seconds d 175 seconds therefore if you are able to calculate k1 and k2 you can calculate the relaxation time how to calculate K1 and K2? Two methods I have already given. One method is from the equilibrium constant value, provided K1 or K2 is given, but no such is not given. Then another method by which the K1 and K2 can be calculated is T is equal to 1 by K1 plus K2 into log of x e by x e minus x. This is the integrated rate equation for the for the equilibrium reactions. Here k1 plus k2 is as that could be taken in the left hand side and 1 by t into l. What is x e? x e is the x e and this is also x e. What is the x, the amount that is present? That is nothing but one fourth of the x e. Equilibrium amount, it is given as one fourth of the equilibrium amount of B farm. This is the one more. And from this, the time taken is given as 276 again. Log of x e by this one. If you simplify this, you will get log of the ln of 4 by 3. Here it is not possible for us to take ln 4 and the ln 3. We simply convert into the logarithm to the base 10 by multiplying with 2.3 by 3 divided by 276. Therefore, now you know the value of log 4 by 3. What is log value of 4 by 3? 0.4 it is 0.6. 0.3 it is 0.4 right it is log a minus log b therefore form into 1 2 therefore 2.3 into 0 0.12 divided by 276 multiply it with the other 276 okay and it is 0.276 divided by 276 that is nothing but 276 it is 276 into 10 power minus 3 am i correct 2.3.12 with 36 24 27 1 2 3 by 276 this and this cancel this is equal to 
k1 plus k2 is equal to 10 power minus 3. But what is as? What is the relaxation time? Relaxation time is this. Therefore, 1 by 10 power, uh, you know, 1 by tau is equal to 10 power minus 3. Therefore, tau is equal to 1000. But the answers given are wrong. The answers given are, uh, sorry, 200. I have put this, not 2000. It is 2000, 1000, 3000, 1750. Sorry, it is not a second. It is 0, 0, 0, 0. I have wrongly told you. Okay. This way, this type of problem is so far not asked. With this, we finish reaction equilibrium. Here we assumed that all the reactions forward as well as backward reactions are taking place through the first order kinetics. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.